Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have, um, we're back on it with Yinghams. Um, one of their lovely daily vlogs has gone up and I just couldn't help myself but uh, soak in the atmosphere that is Dubai and uh, the, the Yinghams version of how to live in Dubai. It's just beggar's belief, doesn't it? So let's have a look, see what they're up to. It, the title of the vlog was Typical Day in Dubai. Uh, <laughs> well, to me, that sounds very much like it's a uh, fucking around day, right? Doing fuck all. Sitting around the pool, um, just doing nothing, basically. Uh, pretty much what they do every single day of their lives. So, let's see if this one is any different. Good and Morgan, everybody. Good Morgan. Good Morgan. I'm not even quite sure what he was going for there, to be honest with you. Um, good morning is obviously in English. Um, good morning is not. Um, uh, I think maybe German. One second, let me have a look. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to butcher it as well. I'm so sorry. You can see what it says, right? That's German for good morning, right? <laughs> for fuck's sake. Anyway, right? So um, I think that's what he's going for, but I don't know why he, he said good Morgan. I don't know, right? I just can't fathom it. Plus, he's not in Germany. He's not even in Europe. He's in Dubai. They don't speak German over there. I don't know. Maybe he's made some German friends. Maybe he's um, taken some tips off that. I don't know. It's just baffling the, the his brain it's insane welcome to another very cloudy dull and rainy day we're not rainy. oh no wait we're not in england anymore it's sunny today now obviously i'm only joking but i do genuinely sincerely send as, as much sun as i possibly can do to all of our uk peoples of course you do, Chris. Of course you do, because if you were that caring about um, your UK peoples, then you probably wouldn't have left your UK peoples for the sun, would you? You know, but uh, you did, in fact, leave your UK peoples for the sun of Dubai. We're going to get more into the ins and outs of Dubai uh, shortly. I've already been through, obviously, the 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 cons of actually living there, and you know, and everything, but. I have one or two things and problems and issues that um, that have arisen in my brain. So we're going to get to that shortly. Right now, because apparently it's been raining for a while, and um, I do feel really bad. I feel all about that. Me and I forgot what rain is. Uh, I'm playing. I'm only joking. Wait, my little my brightness is a little too much. I'm playing. I'm only joking. Anyway, so basically. Aside from desperately needing to chop all my hair off because it just doesn't work, this my my head just doesn't work in this. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, Chris, but you are looking rough. You are looking rough. Sleeping well, are we, Christopher? Sleeping well. You're looking old. Those bags under those 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 eyes just look terrible. I'm sorry, but um, you know, it's the beginning of the end, Chris. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work. This my my head just doesn't work in this. Country, so no. So um, I'm probably going to get a buzz cut at some point. So a thumbs up on this video if you want to see that happen. Interesting, Chris, because I have to be the one to tell you. I'm afraid that your hair doesn't work in any country. <laughs> so it just doesn't, right? I mean, don't forget when you were in the UK, people still took the piss out of your hair because of how your hair was. And now you're in Dubai, it doesn't really matter, it's still the same, isn't it? So, yeah, get a buzz cut, I would love to see it. Um, we will be there for the show with the popcorn, it would be lovely. I'm sure Sarah would be delighted to see you in something other than a grease-infested cesspit. Um, but we are literally having, it's a bit of a mashup day today because... You wanna get in, mate? There you go. There you go, buddy. Because this morning, um, Sarah and Izzy had to go out for an appointment, um, like a, a Dubai appointment, a, a, an important one. A Dubai, 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 Dubai. What the fuck is a Dubai appointment? What's a D Dubai? Am I saying that right, Chris? Have I got it down? 
<laughs> I got it down yet. Dubai Yee appointment, apparently. I have no idea. And then I'm being picked up at two for an appointment as well. Are you really? Well, I do hope, Christopher, that you intend to dress more formally, right? If you're going to a formal interview or appointment or what. Maybe it's a job interview. You never know. It could be a job interview, couldn't it? But anyway, either way, um, it's with the authorities, so I would hope that you dress more appropriately and respect them when you go and don't just wear your, your um, shorts and t-shirts and probably knowing you, you go top, well, actually you wouldn't go topless to, to that. Certain other things that you would go topless to, but not to an appointment. Anyway, so I hope you, um, you know, you've got your shirt and tie out, Christopher. So today is kind of like we can't really do much in between those two things today. So right now we are, it's lunch, we've just had our lunch and we're just about to walk around and enjoy some pool action. Some pool action, so that sounds rather pervy. I'm sorry Christopher, it does, it sounds a little bit pervy, I'm gonna, not going to lie, um, you're going to enjoy some pool action, filming this pool action are we? Um, probably for the next two hours before I get picked up. Hello. <laughs> Guess who forgot the floaties? We did. Daddy did. Or me. Me and Daddy. We both forgot, didn't we? Oh no, Sarah, though, your first response is most likely your real response, isn't it? Chris forgot the floaties because everything is Chris's responsibility, am I right? <laughs> Literally everything that um, is forgotten is always Chris that's forgot it. Sarah is literally not responsible for packing anything ever. Who remembers the time they went down to, I think it was Cornwall, and they forgot some things and Sarah said oh Chris was supposed to pack those I think it was the chairs or something like that and it was Chris was supposed to pack those well why didn't you pick them up why didn't you get them oh and um, the time when she forgot <laughs> she forgot some of item of her own clothing and she said oh Chris was supposed to pack that for me it's like, why pack. <laughs> pack your own things my god seriously I mean I don't like Chris obviously um but don't blame it on somebody else for not packing your stuff. Seriously. Hey, are you shy? <laughs> you look shy, yes, Jase. You have to put your goggles on then and take your glasses off. You can go underwater, but just don't go near the deep end when you've not got a floaty on, okay? Okay, but. Chris has just run back okay, to get the floaties. Why does she stare at me like that? It's the cutest thing. Oh, she's not staring at you in a cute way though, Sarah. You don't know what she's thinking. Behind those eyes, she is plotting against you. How she can make you disappear. I reckon, anyway. I can just feel when I'm facing away from her, I turn around and she's just like... <laughs> I don't actually know what I did in a previous life to deserve this life. It was pretty epic. Well, it's interesting you should say that, Sarah, because I have a theory, right? It's often been said that a previous life decides what happens in this next life, right? So say if you've been bad in the last life, then God tells you that, you know, that you, you need to be taught a lesson or you need to learn the lesson or something like that you know some some something like that right uh, so i wonder what exactly you did in a previous life in order to <laughs> have this level of of crap thrown on you on a daily basis you must have been terrible and god thought i know we need to get her the the best possible lesson and see if she learns from it and then if you learn from it, then next life, you're going to have a really good life, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you're learning the lesson because you think that you're actually being rewarded in this life when in actual fact you're being punished, you see? So what you need to do, Sarah, is just figure it out in your, your heart. 
how this life has panned out for you and then like try and learn from it learn from it and 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 then god will let you into his realm of of uh <laughs> i know i know <laughs> some of you know but it's i know <laughs> yeah so yeah god will let you <laughs> into his kingdom at the end of your life and um, reward you with a better life in the next one one without a Chris Ingham in it. That's right. Found you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they did in a previous life to deserve you. Never a truer word spoken, Sarah. Um, you don't know what you've done to deserve Chris. I know. We all wonder that from time to time. Not in the way you're thinking. Alright. Yes, darling. Are you putting your goggles on, Mila? I did it again. Jace, you're doing so good swimming. <laughs> you're doing so, so good. Thanks. Yes, Mila. You ready? Yes. Three. I'm coming, Mila, and I'll help you. One second. So I'm confused about something. Can somebody help me out, please, for a second? So you've got Sarah all the way over here. She's right next to Jace, but right on the other side of the pool is Mila, the two-year-old, in the pool all by herself, not even with any of her siblings, to be honest. And she's just there. Um, she may have her floaties on, right? But as we all know, floaties are not necessarily a um, prevention from things like, you know, drowning and stuff like that in shallow water. So I'm just wondering, is it normal to allow a two-year-old to just be playing around in a in, in the pool on their own? I, it just feels like that shouldn't actually be a thing. In fact, I don't remember them ever leaving Jace on his own when he was learning to swim at that age. I don't think so. Um, I personally think that... You know, you should be looking after your ch your kids in the pool. Maybe that's just me. I mean, Sarah didn't have her hands full, did she? She was on her own. Um, it's not even as if she had the baby with her. So why couldn't she be tending to the littlest um, and, and making sure that she was okay? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. This place is heaven. Um, Isabel, Sophia? Are you up for a challenge? I'm doing my challenge right now. No, this is warm up. You have to do again. the proper challenge starts in a minute. <laughs> You're only on your second lap. No, I don't care. <laughs> well, we've got the pool to ourselves, so we might have a little lens challenge. But it seems like she's dead on the second one. <laughs> right, what is the one thing that we said as a family we would 100% do every day here when we were settled in? Work out. Bearing in mind we've only been here just over a week, so we're not settled in yet at all. Because we're, when we're in our house, house is when we're going to be settled in. Yeah. Right? Well, maybe a couple of weeks after our house, 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 maybe. But anyway, basically, we we have free gym membership here in any of the gyms. We have obviously free pool access in any of the pools. So we, we were like every single day we are on it fitness wise. Yeah. We're gonna. We pay, we pay for it. All. Sorry, you, yeah, you, it's not free. Technically, you pay for it in your fees that you pay to, to live here. But you know, then you get free access to everything, kind of thing, yeah. right? So we said we would be the fitness family, right? Uh, Hello. No, we are going to be. Look, look, I was always the fitness man until recently. Till we moved to the new house, I skated all the time. I was the fitness man. I had it down. Just to, when when did I when did I start losing my metabolism? Hmm? When did you start gaining? No, I, did, I ain't got no belly. We're not talking about stuff. I ain't got no belly. But I'm just saying, maybe my chin has started to just, you know, exponentially grow a little bit, which is not good. But I've been eating good for a while. Not so much when we've moved here. Not not so much in the last week. But you know, I have three, four. I've not been eating bad. I'm definitely in calorie. I'm definitely in calorie deficits, right? Still, but I've not been strict carnivore. Let's just say that. But I am getting back into that now, for sure. But I'm going to be the fitness man, Isabel. You don't technically need to be the fitness. Well, we are going to be fitness, right? We're going to be doing it. We do know what? Yeah. I know. Everyone thinks I'm a tall. I know. Whatever. No, I'm, all right, I'm a class A tall. It's fine. Whatever. I just need to get down the pool. But this is a good opportunity while we've got the pool completely to ourselves to get some lengths in. Let's see how many we can do. You ready? You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to set up a time lapse from the deep end.
I just got out to feed Aurora. But look who joined us. A bit later because I had some schoolwork to finish off. Yeah. Looking super cute today, Esme. Thank you. Isla is straight in the pool somewhere down there. Right, so Isla said to me, oh, I'll wait for you whilst you finish off doing your schoolwork and stuff. I'll wait for you. I need to pack my bag anyway, I'll wait. So I was like, oh, okay, I won't be too much longer. So just finish this thing. One second, and then I hit all of a sudden I hear I tried to score. All I hear was pots and pans cracking and, and the hump turning on. And I was like, what's she doing? Exactly. Sneak downstairs and go, what on earth are you doing? And she was sat there making noodles. And then, and then I was sat there making them. And then I hit the door open and I'm like, I'm busted. And I turn around and see Dad and they go, oh, came back so to the floaties. <laughs> oh, I'm so busted. And Dad went, Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's only because when we were all leaving, right there, is everyone ready to go? And Esme said, I can't go yet. I've got to finish this assignment thing that she was doing. <laughs> and then Isla also said, yeah, I've still got to finish my schoolwork as well. And we were great. like, okay, that's fine. Turns out the second we left, Isla had already finished. She just wanted to stay behind and make herself some, <laughs> some lunch. <laughs> you crazies. Red. Yes. Hey. I've just shredded off every ounce of body fat I have left. If, right. I, grab, if I get out of this pool, you're not going to be able to cope. <laughs> your own reactions. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's also saying eight. Hey, I've only seen you go past me twice. That's, excuse me, how many lengths are you doing? Eight lengths. It's on camera over there. Look at him doing eight lengths, eight lengths. thinking it's some sort of. That's a big. That's an that's a Olympic size swimming pool. That's <laughs> it's I not an Olympic size swimming pool. pool. <laughs> Sorry, go on. I get out of this pool now, every bit of definition of my fart pack is going to be showing. You mean zero? So just prepare yourself. I don't know if you're ready for that. Fart pack or... I don't know what that is, not even what. I don't even know what you said. It's a let's see Moto Moto I don't know who Moto Moto is. from Madagascar. Your type. If it gets out the water, I believe in you, babe. I'll show you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Things like this don't need to be vlogged for the masses to see. Go on then, jump out. Let's have a look. The definition. Camera off then. Right, Jace, did you want me, mate? Yes, but I'm going to go snorkel. It is. Put the snorkel You're going down for them? Okay, no problem. I'm doing 15 when I get back. Not even hard. I could have kept going. Jump out. I've got to get out now because we've got to go for the appointment. Sorry, babe. I'm waiting for this. I'm going to film this now. What? I want to see, si I want to see size 6 Sarah getting out. Size 6 Sarah getting out. Are you ready? Yeah. Just another one. <laughs> no. Another one. <laughs> Come on, then. Yes. Oh, You're so beautiful to me. <laughs> Loving it, Sarah. Loving it. Give us a whirl. Give us a twirl. Give us a whirly twirly. <laughs> so me and the six children came back from the pool. Had some lunch. Had about an hour just chilling in the house. And then Chris got back. He just got back about 15 minutes ago. We were planning on going out to Dragon Mart today, which is basically like a shopping mall that we've been recommended to go to for household things and things that we're gonna need for the new house. However, Chris got back and I was like, I low key don't wanna go. I kinda can't be bothered. Um, so Chris was like, yeah, let's just not bother going there today. We really need to do like a proper clean on the house. Like obviously we do like a tidy every day, but it needed like a deep clean. Like we've been here now how long have we been here? I don't even know what the date is today. I'm totally lost. Less than two weeks, but over one week. So, not quite two weeks, but almost. And we've not done like a prop, well, I think we've done like one proper deep clean, you know, like scrubbing all the floors, pulling all the sofa out, pulling all the units out, clearing out like the snack cupboard, like a proper deep clean like that. So that's what we've just been doing. Um, I'm out in the garden. Do you know what I'm doing, actually? I'm not even gonna lie. I can't, look how much I've eaten of them. That, that, this box is pretty much all me. Because nobody else really likes them that much. I'm actually disgusting. I've eaten like the whole box. So bad. I can't remember I bought them. It was not long ago, it was like two days. I've eaten like a whole box in two days. <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> 
I'm in the garden. I'm going to do the garden because look at the state of this place. Ignore the sheets. I washed the bedding and everything because I wanted to get all the bedding washed. Um, and then Aurora's nappies didn't have space on the, I don't know if you can see over there. The washing horse, it's too bright, you're not gonna be able to see unless I click that, there we go. The washing horse over there, um, that was full of other clothes and things, so I just laid all of her nappies out on this artificial grass stuff. Um, and it's actually just done really well, like none of her nappies, a couple of her nappies have got like stained, and none of them have stain on them anymore, because obviously instead of me shoving them in the dryer, which is what I do in the UK, I can hang them outside in like the natural sunlight and the heat, and it, they just dry so fast and all of the stains have gone. So we've got a few towels drying and nappies there that are pretty much dry now. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon. We are gonna take a drive around to the new house, I think. Right, no one can hear me. I don't know, I'm talking to somebody else. They can't hear me, sat out here. But we are going to take a drive around to the new house. Are we going down to the new house? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you bringing another wash load out before wash I've even managed, to, yeah. even managed to even managed to take that one down because she's bought a huge load of washing. It's the thing, you know, when you're not on holiday and it's like you're trying to get into a new routine, it's really difficult. Well, it's not difficult, but I don't want to use the wrong word because, you know, I don't want to get ripped apart. But when you come to somewhere like this and you move here, it's really easy or it's hard not... Do you think it's hard not to fall into like a holiday routine where you feel like you just don't have washing and you don't have to do cleaning and things because we're on holiday, but we're not. That's kind of so it's trying to remind ourselves all the time like we're not on holiday right now. So Bedding like still needs there. washing, you know, clothes still need washing. Everything still needs deep cleaning because we're not on holiday right now. I mean, it feels like we are. I got no maid service here, man. That's what I mean, like, we are the maid. <laughs> I've got what I was saying now. But yeah, I think we're going to drive around to the new house and have a little walk around that subdivision. So a few people have asked, like, are we staying where we are? We are staying in this community because we love it here. We already feel like we've slotted right in we've got our bearings we've made some friends um you okay they actually invited us over today but unfortunately we couldn't make it um but yeah we've, we've made friends around here and it's just a nice place to be it feels nice everyone's enjoying it, I love it. so we're staying here in this community but we are moving division subdivisions so we're not staying in this area that we're in. I think a lot of these houses in this area, there are some residents here, but a few of the houses here are like holiday homes. So there's quite a lot of holiday people here that are just here genuinely on holiday in Dubai. Whereas the other one, I don't think there's quite so many and it's a new like weekly holiday. Yeah, like they've just gone holiday for Yeah, like the living Yeah. Like the Germans that were at the pool today, they were just here for like a two week holiday. Um but well, yeah, so the other one that we're moving to is not. That's a newer one, and it's mainly, if not all, residents. So. And it's closer uh, to the main big pool that there is, like the yeah, main with the Lambay Beats and stuff. Yeah, we're quite far out. So basically, they're staying where they are in this, like, holiday complex, if you will. Because why would you want to um, integrate yourself into the culture of the country where you live, you know? It seems a little bit, I don't know, I know a lot of people are doing that, but that's the problem with Dubai, isn't it, really? That people are not really going there for the country that they're living in, or the culture. It's just going there just to be in a warm climate. I don't know why, I don't know. Yeah, this place is massive, but we're quite far at the back here, whereas the other one, we're closer to things. So that's going to be really nice, but we want to take a ride down there today in the car because we want to, it's not walkable distance to walk down there, to drive down in the car, but then we want to get out and just walk around the neighbourhood just to like get a feel for it, find out like where the pool is and things like that. So I'm going to start out the garden and then we can go down and do that. Righty ho, finished cleaning and now we're in the car, I'm just waiting for Chris. So come and get our seat and strapped in. I'm actually going to drive for the first time here in Dubai. I don't know why I've been nervous about driving. Actually, I do. The roads, they're terrifying. <laughs> they're massive, like, and it's really hard to follow the sat nav. Chris is just getting the hang of it now. Obviously, he's been driving for like the last week to two week, but he's just getting the hang of it now, but I've not driven at all, so. I'm just gonna drive. We're only staying in our little gated community, but there are, there are roads here and roundabouts and things. To drive, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna drive. But also, I want to drive because Aurora is always so much more fussy when she can see me. 
And so whenever she's with Chris, she's just so happy and calm. And then when she's with me, she's going through a stage where she just wants to breastfeed or she's upset. And that I think she must be having like a growth spell or something. But if she can't see me, she's not bothered. So what you're saying, Sarah, is when uh, yeah, your baby can't see you, she's not bothered about where you are or what you're doing or anything about you. The minute that she sees you, she bursts into tears at the, <laughs> the very sight of you. <laughs> she's trying to tell you something. Sorry, Sarah. Well, like, absolutely doesn't care. Like now, she's stood there with Chris, she's happy as Larry. I bet when she gets in the car, she's not bothered. Anyway, my point is, is that when we're in the car, there's nothing I can do. I can't feed her. We're in the car, we're driving. She needs to be strapped in a car seat. You're looking oh, at me. Look how she's looking at me. I don't know how to do it. Oh, how do I do the aircon? Well, this is easy peasy. This is no biggie. I mean, I know we're not on main roads, but... Well, that was easy. I'm howling because there's an Amazon package on the doorstep. And Chris just went, you've been having to, you've already been on Amazon already. Obviously that's not ours. But um, yeah, that's quite funny. I'm sorry babe, but I absolutely parked better than you did. Uh, that's straight. <laughs> that is pretty much straight. straight it's pretty much straight. <laughs> <laughs> the car parking space is here. I don't know if you can see, if you can tell. But they're really, really, really tight. And all the cars seem to like come in. I got lucky. There's no one in this one. The give bad. over it wasn't bad. I bossed it. Look, bossed they're really up. all tight together. I think you bossed it. I did, Esme. I absolutely why bossed it. Why do those look really separate Do you know why? Because I'm trying to prove a point on how they're very close together. So obviously the universe makes them look far apart. Okay. <laughs> what are we coming to the shop for? I'm just, uh, careful. I want broccoli. Yeah, I've but what seen, for? I've just seen donations. The Tokyo Express offer stamps. Yeah, we're supposed to have been good. Right, listen, do you know donations. what, right? We've said we're trying to be good. I'm not going to lie. Let's I've not been picture. on it today. I've eaten loads of them Indian chippy crispy things and I also ate a big slab of chocolate. Really nice because I fasted all day. But mate. you have fasted all, all day. day. But but the only thing I've drank is water. So the last week or so since we, we set off from the UK. Hold a minute. Why do we keep forgetting about Tokyo Express? Because it's 40% no, off the bill. No, no, do you know what I almost did today at lunch? I almost ordered this massive sushi platter because they sent me a message, a text message, saying 25% off and free delivery. And I was like, oh, when you was out at the R appointment, I was like, oh, the girls would love me so much if I just ordered this massive sushi, sushi platter. Why did you do it? Because Dad took the cards. I swear I did on purpose. Should we, should we go get a nice chai latte from Sam's? No, 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 no. no. I've drank water. I'll I've been really bad. No, <laughs> I'll stop with that five you euros. Stop. Get... Right. Now that I've shh. <laughs> uh, I've been really bad with drinking fizzy drinks over the last um, while. So I've been really good today. These are the small little um, model houses that I was speaking about in yesterday's vlog at the shopping mall. These are everywhere. This one's just showing like a home. Usually they show like the whole city and I find them so interesting to look at. <laughs> look how cute that is. How nice is that home? Oh, this is a dollhouse. Doll oh my gosh, this would be the cutest dollhouse. Look at that, like, the little pool and things. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think we're done in the supermarket. Are you arguing over scarce? Yeah, because I said, I said, I think Go on, I'm scared I'm scared of the beef. I think, I think my scare might be a bit small, so I'm just worried about it. Because like, it's not small, it's really short. But it's not small, it's literally longer than me. That's what you mean. I, I said, no, I said, it, I said it's way long enough. What do you mean? It's not so much short at all. You have score. I don't have score. Yeah. That's not what we're looking for. That's garlic has made. That is what we're looking for. No, Take all that massive. No, garlic. Yeah, but guys, would, guys, what would you rather have? I'm sorry, which is cheaper? Probably that as well. What would you rather? Actually, everyone's going to say these because it's fr probably fresh. Yeah, mum. These, I'm talking to the convenience mums, okay? These, or... There's no convenience mums watching. These, what would you... Seven, I hate... Seven, 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 seven. seven. Oh, they were 15, weren't yeah. they? They were 15. No, they're 30, <laughs> Seven dirham, what's that? They were... No, they were, those are 12. Um, like £1.20 for all those. Already okay, peeled. But, but yesterday, you told me to go look for garlic, and yesterday we bought ones that are already diced. So that's not already diced, so I thought like, it would be no good. That's true. I just say get the diced, but there's none of that left. So this is going to do. Here's what we've got. We're almost finished. Rory is growling. We've got bread cakes because Chris has decided he wants garlic bread with our pasta dish that we're having tonight. We've that is amazing, that it's juice. Absolutely. Tastes so delicious. good. And yet, yeah, they are drinking it whilst we're walking around the shop. But we're paying for it, so stop giving us hate. You know, people who do do that. Because there are people that do do that, right? 
the walk around the shop eating or drinking in this case um, things and then the end of, they, they pay for it at the till you can do that but you know before you've paid for it it's not actually yours to, to do with what you will you know until you've actually bought it and paid for it it's not actually yours um, I just thought I'd give that as a point of note I know some of you in the audience here may also do the same thing but um, just saying it just does I don't know. Just leaves a bad taste, and not just because it's kiwi juice. We don't always. Well, actually, yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. We've got. So I'm gonna make my own garlic bread. So we've got the garlic bread. We've got the garlic. Oh, we've the got butter. the butter. Oh. We've got the butter, and we've got the mozzarella. I've got Mo the mozzarella. 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 We've got the mozzarella. You're not Italian. <laughs> mozzarella. Um, we've got. It's two juices, we've got an apple one and a kiwi, some more milk, because we always need milk, two loaves of bread, some banana, some lemon, lemon some, some broccoli, a pomelo, a, a pom pomelo, pom 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 a pomelo, a pomelo, a pomelo. Well, however you want to say it, we've got one. Uh, as, what's she doing? <laughs> I literally thought she'd just, I was like, oh, she, she hit her head, like what on earth? And then Isla goes, no, it's my lipstick, I just kissed her. Yeah, it's alright, she got the oh, She's doing it. What you doing? What you doing? Okay, there's one more thing, guys, that I want to get. Guys, this is really bad. This isn't what I was meaning, but these are only 13 AED, which is about... Two pounds. No, £2. nowhere near two pounds. No. Huh? Like two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, it's like two pounds something, yeah. right? And you get packs of three. Now I've just grabbed, I've just grabbed them and been like, yeah, they'll do. Which is usually two original and one chili. I've just seen that they're all different. And look, lucky dipped it, lucky dipped it. I lucky dipped it from here. I was like, yeah, we'll go for that one. Chili, original <gasps> barbecue. Oh, see, there's a barbecue one. See, if that barbecue was there instead of the original, oh, yeah. the original you're like talking the top notch. Top notch not Pringles me. slash Lay's. Lay's. Should we get both? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Well, that one's the glasses. Well, guess what? Not having them. Right. On a serious note, though, I want some ice lollies. This is what I want. A nice ice lolly for after dinner. Chris is fuming, but we've gone for it with the ice lollies. So... We're going for these butterscotch and caramelised cashew cornettos. King cone. They look boss. They look amazing. We've gone for two of two packs of these because I know that the kids are literally going to sniff up and these will be all gone. So <laughs> there's two almond, two caramel biscuit, and two berries. But we've also we've actually got four. So we've got two packets. Yeah, we've got one for dessert tonight. And then I couldn't resist these as well. Sorbets. Oh. Oh, no, they um, are these are sorbets, Isla. Pink guava, mango, and raspberry. Oh, oh, oh. Guava, yeah, guavas look so good. So we've got dinner on the go. Esme has done this garlic bread because Aurora was fast asleep on me. So Esme very kindly prepared that. We've just got the garlic butter and a bit of parsley to put on the top. We've kind of messed up because we've still not put the broccoli on. Ah, I needed to do that, but um, the pasta's almost done and these veggies are nowhere near done. Esme, we need a lid on this. Hello. We need a lid on, a lid on this ASAP. You're welcome. Bon appetit. Yeah, I've got two bread cakes. Mind your own business. Esme <laughs> too. and Dad. And these were probably going to have another one as well. This is so delicious. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm sorry that the commentary kind of tailed off in the second half of the video. Um, I had some issues, so um, please forgive me on that. Anyway, please give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.